Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back again to my lecture video Okay, so this is part 2 of uh, the topic friction So if you missed the part 1 introduction, so please check the link in the description down below Okay, so let's look at a question regarding friction okay. The uniform crate has a mass of 20 kg Determine the minimum value of P This one ah. Uh, to slide and tip the crate. Uh, okay, so see the keyword here. Okay, so we have uh, slide. Okay, and also tip. Uh, the coefficient of static friction, which is mu s lah. So this one supposed to be mu s is equals to zero point three. Uh, okay. So if you refer back to the previous lecture, I've already taught you on how to uh, uh, determine. Okay, the situation when it is slipping and or tipping. Uh, okay, so first, let's focus on uh, to slide. Uh, means sliding. Uh. Okay, so the main difference between sliding and tipping is the free body diagram. Okay, which is the location of normal force. Okay, whether it is uh, below the surface or at the bottom tip of the surface. Uh, that one. Okay, so to slide. Refer back to the previous video ah, if you don't understand ah. Okay, so to slide here So let's draw the free body diagram first Which is really really important in friction Okay, other part of course other chapter also important But this one here is quite crucial Okay, because if you uh, missed Made a mistake regarding the uh, free body diagram Then it will be a lot of troubles Okay, so here we have 30 degree and then we have a weight okay this one here so this one is what 20 kilograms so means that 20 times 9.81 okay yeah. okay so when we want to slide this uh, crate here okay so this one here the normal force must be below this surface here okay the contact surface here so means that we can uh, put our normal force like this okay and what about the friction ha, this one here i didn't mention in the previous lecture ha. the direction of the friction must be opposite direction with the movement of the box okay let's say if this force p is applied to this crate here so this crate will move to the this one ah to the right side Okay, to the right side So means that friction must be opposite direction Must be against the direction Against the movement Okay, therefore Friction is in this direction Okay, so F equals to 0.3 N uh, 0.3, where does 0.3 come from? Uh, this one ah uh, Mu S already mentioned here is 0.3 So F friction is 0.3 N hmm. So this is our Free body diagram uh, So what to do Very easy uh, Okay. So you can use Total of force To create equation uh, Okay. To, total of force equals to 0 Okay. Let's try to do Total of Fx And Fy equals to 0 Okay, everyone. So, if you refer to these two, uh, total of force equals to zero. Ah, uh. when we do total of Fx equals to zero, we can get this equation. Okay, two unknowns, P and N, normal force. And when we do total of Fy equals to zero, we also got uh, two unknowns, which is P and also N. Uh, so, did you see the relation here? Uh, okay. So, because we have two equations and also Two unknowns means that we can solve these two equations. Okay, how to solve these two equations is by using your this one. Okay, calculator. Okay, huh? so if you want to know how to use your calculator to solve these two equations with two unknowns, uh, I will provide you a video on how to use this. 
calculator so please check that video ah okay maybe you can check the link in the description down below okay so let's try to solve these two equations and also these two unknowns using our calculator okay so when we uh, try to solve these two equations using uh, e, uh, calculator okay uh, this calculator uh, okay we got the value p is equals to 82.2 newton and n is equals to 237.3 newton so it means that if the force okay the value of the force when it is 82.2 means that this crate here will start to move okay uh, so so what kind of movement the movement is sliding uh, okay it will be sliding so what about tipping uh, let's draw the free body diagram of tipping okay everyone so now this is the free body diagram when the crate uh, needs to be tip tipping uh, okay so the difference between sliding and tipping is this one the location of the normal force when we want to tip the location of normal force must be this one ah uh, at the bottom tip uh, here uh, at this location here mm, okay so to calculate to tip here this one ah uh, okay we cannot use total of force is equal to zero cannot when we do total of force is equal to zero we will get the same answer just like uh, to slide here so what you need to use when we want to calculate the force to tip is to use moment uh, okay uh, you need to use moment so when we talk we need to use when i said when we need to use moment so where is the location where is the rotation point that we need to use uh, which one this one this one or this one uh, the correct one is this one okay the location of the normal force because when we choose this uh, location okay to calculate no need for us to consider normal force no need for us to consider friction what we need to consider is just this one the weight of the crate and also p the unknown p uh, okay because we want to use moment so it means that we need to have the direction the distance ah huh? So let's check the distance again. So this one here we have 0 0.2. Okay, the height here 0 0.2 and the length here is 0 0.8. Okay, so let's write it down. Ah. So this one here is 0 0.2 and this one is 0 0.8. Uh, okay, so as I mentioned earlier, when we want to calculate to tip, we must use moment. Okay, so let's use moment. So let's say this one. Ah. So moment at n normal force here, okay. Sorry, ah, the total moment ah. So because it is in equilibrium, zero lah, okay. Ah? So let's try to write down the equation. Okay, everyone. Ah, okay, let's check the answer. So, when we want to tip this crate here, we need is negative 346.04 Newton. Ah, what does it mean by negative? So, it means that we cannot push this crate to make it tip. Cannot. Okay, what we need to do is that we need to, this one. Okay, we need to pull. Okay, pull this crate here with the force of 346.04 Newton to make it tip. Uh -huh. Okay, so this is the answer. So if you refer back when we want to slide, okay, the value is 82.2. So if you try, uh, try by yourself. Uh, when we want to push something, okay, when we push uh, and the uh, object start to move, okay, then try to push it much harder okay that object will start to tip uh, so which is why 
the force that is needed to tip something should be larger than the force to slide the object. Uh, okay, so uh, that's how you that's how to calculate the force when we want to slide and also to tip something. So if you have any question, feel free to ask me. See you again in the next video. Bye bye.